He blocked me. When you're natural, you don't tend to block other people. You're not hiding anything. When you're enhanced and you're a fake natty, that's when you start being secretive. Coach Greg, and today it's about Diesel Josh. 374,000 followers on Instagram, super popular, and claims to be all natural. He's about 29 years old, 5'10", 200 pounds. He looks like Arnold a little bit. His body's kind of like Arnold. He also claims to be 6 to 7% body fat year round. So obviously I have to get into, is he actually natural? And what about that body fat percentage? Instagram, Diesel Josh. So his name is actually Joshua Tobez. I hope I said it right. Is he really 6 to 7% body fat? Let's start with that, okay? No, of course he's not. He's freaking out to lunch. He's in imagination land. He's like five years old, thinks he's 6 to 7% body fat. Why does he get away with saying that? Because he has abs. People think if they have a six pack that they're six or 7% body fat. You really think Diesel Josh is one or two weeks away from being mind blowing shredded as an IFB pro bodybuilder? He's not even a pro, he's an amateur and not even a good amateur. Why is he called Diesel Josh? And I really didn't know who this guy was, but I had so many requests to do the video that I had to start looking him up. Okay, so I thought, it's gotta be because he's so jacked that he wears diesel jeans. He's on Instagram. I'm skipping. I'm a skipping guy. He's skipping in jeans. I'm like, it's gotta be diesel jeans. I'm like, what is going on with this guy? He, well, who works out in jeans with their shirt off? I stay between six and 7% body fat all year. Bullshit! He's 10 to 12% body fat. Not 6 to 7. In general, you add 5% to what you think you are, and in this case, that's about right. This guy's not 6 to 7%. He's 10 to 12. Just add 5%, that's what he is. He's promoting cardio and eating healthy, and that's great. And does he look good? He looks amazing. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people think I'm like some kind of fat shaming kind of guy. No, I just tell it like it is. He is not 6 to 7%. 15% is lean. He's 10 to 12. He's very lean. Very lean. Leaner than most people, okay? So I'm not saying he's fat. He's just not ripped. He's in great shape. But I can't believe he's working out in freaking jeans. I hope they're diesel jeans. I'm not sponsored by diesel jeans, but I wish I was. They're awesome freaking jeans. People ask me all the time, how do you freaking dress up as a bodybuilder? I can't wear any clothes. Meanwhile, they have no muscle and they think they work out, but they actually barely work out. I fit jeans. I have big legs. I'm a short midget with huge legs and they fit me with no problem. So if you can't fit jeans, stretchy jeans, diesel jeans. Is he natural? At first glance, I looked and I'm like, nope, no way is this guy natural. But then I looked at the old pictures because you got to say, well, maybe, maybe it's freaky genetics. So I looked at him when he was a kid and I said, let's see how he did. So he had a post up and he was like this at eight years old. And I'm like, that's impressive at eight. No way you're going to convince me he was not natty at eight years old. He had a little bit of muscle in his bicep pose. Okay. Then I looked at him at 14 years of age. He's doing a side tricep at 14. He's got more muscle than 18 year olds. So unless he's not natty at 13 on the way to 14, then he has freakish genetics. And I do not think that him at 13 years old was taking something. I just don't. I think he's natural at this point. 14 years old, eight years old. He looks phenomenal. Amazing, amazing genetics. You know, one in a thousand, one in 10,000 genetics. Then I look at him at 16 with the camera and he's doing this. And he almost looks as good as I do right now. He's a freak. He's 16 years old and he's jacked. Full six pack, small waist, amazing biceps. You could argue, okay, he's already on something then. I just don't buy it. I think he's a natural. 
I saw him at eight and at 14, and he's training hard at a young age. And at six, I just think it's a natural progression for somebody with superior genetics, superior to me for sure. He got way better genes than I got. He chose the right parents, okay? He's in imagination land with his body fat, but he's certainly a freak in terms of building muscle. Then I looked at him at 18. The guy's a phenomenal bodybuilder at this point. He looks fantastic. This guy has so much potential. He looks amazing. It's like, if you only showed me that picture, I'd say 18 and he looks like, no, nope, not natural, but I'm seeing the progression. So I'm able to analyze like that. And does he have acne? No. Does he have gyno? No. Does he look like he's kind of put all this weird weight in certain ways? No, it all looks natural. It looks amazing, but it looks natural. Then at 23 years of age, he's looking even more freaky, but this is five years later, okay? I mean, he doesn't look natural there, but it's Photoshopped like crazy. It's filtered and the whole thing it makes him look leaner and more ripped than he is. So when you look at a still photo of somebody, you can make it look way better by just the lighting and the angles and so on. It's just, it's trickery of the camera. When you look at a real still like action photo or a photo of somebody on stage in a competition, that's when you can really see what's going on. So if he's enhanced, let's see how he did in his bodybuilding competition. He entered the Steve Stone Classic in 2016. I don't think it's Stone Cold that made the show. Steve Cold Classic. 2016, four years ago, he's like mid twenties. How did he do? Second place in amateur novice. Does that sound like a guy with great genetics who's enhanced? He can only get second place in an amateur novice show? I think he's natural. Look at the picture. He's soft. He's five pounds of fat too much at least. So he's not even ripped. You telling me he's enhanced and he can't even get lean? He's not impressive. He has a lot of muscle. He looks kind of like Arnold. He has thick, huge kind of muscle, but he's not shredded by any means. He looks four weeks out at least, four to six weeks out. If I was coaching a guy and he sent me pictures like that, I would say, dude, in four to six weeks, you're gonna win the show. So he's not ripped. So when you're natural and you're not lean, it's so much easier to keep all your muscle. So if you're competing at eight to 10% body fat, you're not gonna lose much muscle. Try getting to four to 5% body fat natural and see how you look. This guy would have lost a tremendous amount of muscle because he was natural. He is natural. Diesel Josh is in fact a natural. Why do so many people think he's enhanced? It's because his biceps in his arms are way out of proportion, ridiculously well built. His arms stand out so much, it's like, Wow, so when you see arms like that, you're just blown away, it's shocking. It's like, oh, what am I seeing? No, is he natural? It's one body part, arms. How are his legs? Pathetic, he has pathetically built legs. Not pathetic compared to the average guy, but pathetic compared to his arms. He can't win a bodybuilding contest because his legs are small and tiny. Not small and tiny compared to most people, small and tiny compared to an enhanced bodybuilder. So if you wanna say, no way is this guy natural, and I'm saying he is natural, well, if he's not natural and has that much muscle, he would do horrible in a bodybuilding contest. He's natural. If he took enhancements and got shredded and added muscle to his legs, yeah, he could do really, really good. But as far as his overall development, his legs are lackluster. His arms are phenomenal. He's got a thick chest. He's got good six pack, but he's not mind blowing ripped. He doesn't stand out as being so much leaner than he could be. And he doesn't have a lot of muscle other than in his arms, which really kind of tricks people into thinking how lean he is. So I know you're thinking, why is there a baby Nike in this table? No, I know you're thinking, no way is he natural, but he is natural. And I know you hear me saying that these guys are not natural and so on, but I am very good at looking at people's progress, analyzing their physiques from 
30 plus years involved in this sport and I can tell you that he's natural. Am I 1 million percent sure? No, I'm 98 to 99 percent sure that I'm right. It's possible, of course, that he's taking something. We wouldn't know for sure, but I'm saying that this physique for him is attainable. Is it attainable for most people? No, you can't look like this guy. One in maybe a thousand, one in maybe 10,000 people have the genetic ability to become this natural. So just because he can do it, doesn't mean you sitting there as a fan of his can do it. Just because he's natural and looks that way, doesn't mean you can. Same thing as just because I look like what I did when I was natural, doesn't mean you can too, okay? So don't get me wrong, I'm maybe, I don't know if I'm hating on him or like, I think I'm praising him. The guy's natural, he just doesn't know what body fat percentage is that he is. He looks great, he's natural. He gives hope to some of you. If you have elite, freakishly amazing genetics, you can look like this guy. You can. Just try to train your legs a little bit more and get some balance. Anyway, if you want me to keep doing more Natty or Not videos, like this video, subscribe and click the bell button watch the videos right away comment if you feel like commenting tell me do you think he's natural do you agree with me what do you think is my assessment accurate do you like his legs do not what is it his biceps that make him not natural what do you see in him that's not natural he has no gyno he has no acne he looks great he's natural he's natural Okay, it's a few days after I recorded the video on Diesel Josh, and you know I'm wrong one to two percent of the time? Well, this may be one of those times. Diesel Josh may, in fact, be enhanced. I just went to go up and get some thumbnails for the video that I'm doing on him, and I'm blocked from his Instagram. Blocked, he blocked me! Here I am saying he's naturally blocked me. All because why? Because I said, I'm 9% body fat and he's 6 to 7% body fat naturally year round. He blocked me. When you're natural, you don't tend to block other people. You're not hiding anything. When you're enhanced and you're a fake natty, that's when you start being secretive. That's when you're like, oh, who's saying this about me? Whoever comments on, says I'm not natural, I block that guy, block everybody saying it. You're scared. When you're actually natural, you let the comments go and you're like, thanks for the compliment. Thanks for the compliment. If you didn't think I was natural, then it means I suck. So Diesel Josh, I am not sure now. So I just made the entire video, I'm not deleting it. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna say 50-50 Diesel Josh natural. I'm only right 98 to 99% of the time and this is probably one of those scary times. I wouldn't wanna bet on it anymore. So there you have it Diesel Josh. Thanks for blocking me. Yay, I'm blocked from Diesel Josh. I don't get to see him in his diesel jeans, skipping rope. Yay. Out of here. Another Natty or Not right here because you love those. And another video to watch out here if you're not into those, you know. And until next time, gregdusset.com, coach, IFBB, Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro, Instagram. Until next time, I am out.